What is going on guys? My name is Peter Roberts. As an eBay seller myself in college, I want to break down the tips, tricks, how-tos of selling on eBay, and more importantly, how you can get started yourself selling on eBay. It's a great platform, whether if you want to make some money on the side, if you want to do it as a full-time or part-time gig. There's a lot of money to be made, and more importantly, a lot of people are deferred or, or are scared of the model at first because they don't know how to get started and that's why you're here because I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to get started, how to increase sales and all that um, from the bottom to the top. We're going to do it together. So let's get it. So I got started selling on eBay when I was super young. I was selling just random odd and end things around my house. And then I started to scale up a little bit as I wanted to make some money in the winter months. And even when I just wanted to make a little more side income, I learned how to find certain items. And then I just continued to sell things that my parents didn't want to use, that I wanted to use. And I realized that this model actually works. There's a lot of money to be made and that there's a lot of things that people are throwing away that you can basically optimize and then flip and sell on eBay. So that's why I got started. I'm in college right now. I have all my inventory in my college dorm and on the outside I have a huge rack uh, worth a lot of coats and other clothing items that I have sells. So I, I have a lot of my inventory here at college. I'm doing it here at college. I'm um, going to school full time um, and just staying busy and also um, staying on the grind as an entrepreneur, eBay seller. Uh, it's a great way to make money. It's allowed me to support myself here and I couldn't encourage you guys else to get started. So. That's the, the little talk, TED talk of my uh, personal statements. I believe in this. So what do you need to get started? Uh, I think that's the most important part is that people don't really know how to get started. What do you have to do? Um, the simple basics is get the eBay app, get the PayPal app, set those up. If you don't have any help, just go on other YouTube videos. They're going to tell you exactly how to do the simple basic stuff. I'm trying to break down the meat and potatoes, the things that actually matter, um, how to get started so you can start making money today on eBay. So. I want you guys set up. I want you guys to think about what inventory you want to sell. Rather, if you're just getting started, I'd say start selling some things in your room, in your house, in your garage, wherever you have around you that you just no longer use. Let me just tell you that that thing that you no longer use probably has some type of value. And that's the one most important thing that I want you guys to remember is that everything has a value and everything has a price tag. So when you see items or you have things around your house that aren't really even being used, I'd say Try to flip them on eBay. Before you go out there and scale in your eBay business, go out there and learn how to sell the local things that you have around you that you've already spent money on or basically no cost to start getting going. So use that model to start sourcing inventory. And secondly, if you want to do scale, which I do, my inventory model is to go to thrift stores, garage sales, um, estate sales, Goodwills, any places around you. What I love to do is um, on certain days, a little tip is on Wednesdays and like Fridays, certain thrift stores have certain discounts. So I'm able to go into thrift stores. I buy used clothes. That's my niche. So discover a niche. What do you like to sell? Do you like art, paintings, home decor? Um, for me, I love selling clothes and I just mainly am a all clothes store. I like to find vintage brands. I like to find popular brands. I like to find brands that we're just all rocking in society because a lot of people are taking these to donations places and they don't <clears throat> really care. They just want to get rid of their, their, their clothes. You've probably been there be before yourself. Ah, I don't feel like selling. I'm just going to go let go of it and, and give it to donate it. Well, them donation stores are going to mark them up and then that's uh, uh, an ability to for you to go in there and find these items at a lower cost and then reflip or or sell them on your eBay store for a profit margin. And then you got to understand shipping costs and PayPal fees, the simple basic stuff that not so exciting things, but I am a reseller. I, I, I couldn't preach that method enough. There's so much money in the thrift stores that people just don't know. So go in there and do your due diligence. Look for some brands that you're already selling. Um, if you see some items that you see people are wearing, go in there and find those. Look up the comps and then flip them. So that's how I get my own inventory. I feel like that's the most important because without the inventory, you're not going to make any money. So once you have your inventory, what you're going to do is the most important part here is taking pictures. A lot of people want to go through the motions on taking like sloppy pictures, but I believe this is the most important part of your selling process. Um, once you have the items, you're just going to use your phone. The things that I do, um, I have a high quality camera myself, but I just end up using my cell phone. It's so much easier to get listed. It's so much easier to upload pictures and it makes the whole process easier. So you can basically run your whole eBay store from the uh, click of your phone and just allows you to be efficient allows you to have some decent quality and allows you to just be fast and produce and get as many items on your store as possible and <clears throat> when I go to take pictures like what I love to use is like this white wall here so what, what you want to do on your pictures is have a plain background one of the biggest things I see that their background is like very distinct and you're not going to be able to take good pictures so pictures I couldn't stress them enough and then secondly um, description is important a lot of people want to include measurements in their pictures 
I like to use uh, a simple four step process, fast and free shipping if it's necessary. Um, also just be like the picture um, described in the pictures uh, in quotation, um, some measurements and then kept in a pet free, smoke free environment just to give some buyers more awareness of how the item is being stored, how to care of it um, and just be honest on the way that it looks. And refunds are not fun to work with. so. Um, be as honest as possible on the app and when you're listing um, because it's only going to save you time and it's only going to allow you to build a positive uh, reputation um, on the app. So take good pictures, leave good descriptions, and basically sell high quality products. It's going to save you a lot of time. And then guys, I want to break down, I think the hardest part of this whole process is what do you do with the shipping? How do you minimize shipping costs? And also, how do I ship? Shipping is all through the eBay platform. Um, I don't like to use any other um, secondhand uh, shipping tool. I just go right through the shipping um, process on eBay. So when I'm going to sell an item, I just click recommended. I type in the <clears throat> exact dimensions. I type in the, the weight, and I just go through that process. I don't like to worry about anything else because the shipping on eBay will provide you with your own label, and it'll be super efficient and super less complicated. And then what materials do you need to get started on your shipping? Um, personally, I use the scale myself. Any scale will work. Help you call cost on shipping because if you are overweight when you ship a package, they're gonna charge you money. And if you're underweight, they might um, credit you a little bit of money. But I like to be uh, uh, like very effective and also be kind of right on with the weight. So after I package and ship the item, uh, I just make sure that weight is is correct. So I don't have to worry about that. And then secondly, I've used a regular printer for the longest time, the computer, to print my labels. But now I upgraded to this. Uh, Dino 4XL um, printer so it's a label printer that has saved me a lot of time and also money in the future um, basically not having to worry about the printing costs of like ink from a printer and also um, tape for any of the packages when you do scale up a little bit you're gonna be shipping a lot of packages that you have to tape the label on and all that so uh, if you can get your hands on a dyno printer or any label printer um, I recommend it but it's a little more expensive like 200 and some dollars for one of these but um, it will save you in the future if you really you want to get going so if you understand the model that you want to do, if you want to go up to the thrift store and find some things and then flip them, look for some brands that I love to sell. I love selling uh, like Lululemon, uh, Vineyard Vines, L.L. Bean. They're just some of the hot brands that I currently look for in the thrift as I am a clothes reseller. Also vintage items do well. And then any items that you just see are just popular, um, a name brand, um, are just something you want to get your hands on brand is the number one thing you're selling on in this platform um, and then more importantly just go out there and try it learn it yourself learn the process and just refer to any help that you can if you don't know if something's gonna sell I just want to recommend you guys so make sure you look up the comps on every item at first my biggest mistake as an early seller was I thought these brands were popular but I realized that they weren't worth much and I was losing money which was very discouraging but then I was able to grab some traction I was able to make some sales and then reinvest one thing that I see a lot of eBay sellers do is they take the profit out you have to build a large inventory to get going and scaling um, I like to do it myself is that everything I make I keep in one account and then that account is allowing me to um, rebuy and, and re-up on my inventory so we're trying to scale this out but if you want to get going guys just all you got to do is use your cell phone look up the item take pictures of it leave a good description and sell and then when you get to the selling process to ship it out off the label build some positive reviews on your stores do it efficient and communicate with people buyers are going to be talking to you people are going to ask you questions so if you can get back to them as soon as possible it's only going to help you the best so that's kind of a little simple breakdown of how to get selling on email, the basics, one-on-one, whatever you want to call it. Um, I currently do this myself. It's allowed me to do pretty well here at college. It allows me to work on my own. It allows me to be like super passionate about just going out there, making money, and hustling in the grind. So if this helps you guys, leave a comment, like, subscribe. That would mean the world. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. Go out there, start doing it yourself, and if you need any help, uh, let me know. Hit me up on any platform. Guys, I'm here for you. So thanks for tuning in. Go out there and do it yourself. Peace.